Hello, greetings. These, I know these clever ex Muslims. You can't take things against yourself, right? So, firstly, America just started in 1970s, and before that, this conflict of Sunni Shia has been going on since 1400 years. Umayyad and all this. Uh, you're going to America. I can say things against Jews, Israel. Then these people, Arab Muslims, will come after me. If I sh if uh, this, uh, if I'm a friend, if you know this dentist, Jewish dentist in London, his wife asked my mother if they could be friends, because she said, you know, you are from the Middle East. Can I be your friend? Can we be friends? Is it okay? So my mother said, yes, yes. Such a great dentist's wife. Such a great dentist. I mean, if they haven't hurt us, what can, am I supposed to talk about this? Who has hurt us in Karachi? Okay, Americans, uh, Marion Williamson, I suspect, was that young girl who was senior to me. And we had a PE class together, period together. So that's why she abused Ms. Desai and I couldn't stop but get up for Ms. Desai in one of the periods, uh, PE period. And then she started to cry and all this. So I thought Karachi American School, uh, the big shot, her boyfriend was uh, Matthew, came after us. I don't know who. But later on, I pondered it was a setup, and that um, Marion Williamson always used to wear this mobile oil, um, at least the white crocodile t shirt and uh, the blue boy uh, shorts, blue color, that mobile oil color, or the, you know, the one with the and the uh, very, what do you call that? Yeah, mobile color. So I don't know who set that up. Okay, so now I'll forget what is it. The thing, what is, is that, uh, but so many years back, you, yeah, white, only the red thing was missing, but a boyfriend, Matthew, became Santa Claus and we took a picture with them. That was before this fight that occurred between, like, uh, Marion Williamson was abusing Mr. Sa. And she wasn't stopping until I got up for Mr. Sa. No one else got up because her boyfriend, Big Shot, I was told, not to mess with them. They used to kiss outside auditorium. I wouldn't say anything because it is none of my business. Someone just told me uh, that, you know, I was like, uh, they've broken. No, no, I was not like they've broken the law. But I used to see, I never used to confide in people. My friends even, my classmate, who, you know, uh, we used to stand there seeing them kissing elementary side. The auditorium was on the elementary side, not high school side. Uh, Marion Williamson and Matthew used to come and kiss there, uh, uh, do the kissing. So one of my friends wanted to see this. So I used to stand with her. And uh, then I was told uh, that they can do this because Matthew was a big shot, whether he was from Canada or America of his father. Sorry, his father was a big shot. And uh, some, you know, post, high post. 
So no one could say anything. Even Mr. Horton, the then superintendent, could not say anything to them. They were breaking the school rule of kissing. It wasn't allowed in school, not even in high school side. Uh, so I thought they, excuse me, I thought they had planned this to separate me from his Sal later on, pondering over it. Although at some time there were blinders and I thought someone else said, or it's just that we didn't work with, uh, for so many years. So I don't know. Uh, so I thought it was, I used to look at my fault in Mr. Tissar's, where it was my fault, where I could, uh, you know, that's why I uh, thought, okay, I'll, go. in therapy, I wanted to work on that. Anyhow, none of your business about this, but what, why I'm trying to say this is that, um, I don't know, I forgot it now. So, you may laugh at this, really, because uh, this is your way. Um, the thing is that, uh, oh, there's so much uh, pressure on me. Unbelievable how I survived. And how am I talking? Yeah, so if the ex-Muslims have some kind of resentment against me and they want to take it out or something on me rather than America, because I'm, I'm an ex -Gia. or when I put my name Radharani there or something, you should see that what you did what you have done before America, what you have done before all this. So Bridget uh, said, right, right, in her video, I, I now Bridget uh, is um, in America. What's her full name, Bridget? Uh, this lady, she, uh, how Bridget, uh, how Israel, uh, how Palestine, how they were, and when they were with the Muslims, you can listen to her, Bridget Gabriel. Sorry, I so forgetful that I even forgot my point, and I was going to end this video. How they made her. Her, so you see, she's uh, she speaks very passionately, and they even blame her for being angry. Some Muslim lady blamed her for falsely accusing that Muslim lady for being a liar. So she gave a befitting answer to that, and that's how you see uh, the. Arab Muslims and all, the Pakistani Muslims. Pakistani themselves are very, very cunningly, I don't know how, uh, but the anger is there in them against Shias. They hate, when they hate Shias, oh my God, when they become resentful, when, no, no, when they become revengeful, they're very, very vindictive. They won't leave you till they level you on the ground, your whole house, everything. And maybe they'll even want you to tarpify in the grave, you know, bury her alive, bury her alive. That's what I used to hear, the voices in Karachi, repeating, repeating, repeating. Rape you and maybe cut you into pieces boil you, tear you apart. So 
so this is what Pakistanis are and uh, out of the frying pan into the fire because if that Pakistani told me or told someone that get out of Pakistan if you don't like Pakistan well 75% of Pakistanis are in Dubai then you go to London now so many Pakistanis in London and this Muslim force is breeding, multiplying like germs. It is breeding itself. There's so many. Where shall I go? Pakistanis in London, Pakistanis in UK, breeding. So many of them. So please don't hold me against American thing that I've used Americans or Bridget or Kristen Fair's video. You don't, you kept quiet. That's why my father's right. One devil after Saddam Hussein when this George Bush America one devil after another evil one evil after another evil but through Bridget we learn Bridget Gabriel that uh, what happened and she's passionate and she gets passionate about it and what she has been through in uh, Lebanon, Lebanon, ooh, I don't know how she survived and what my energy and that, I don't know how, but this, I couldn't even listen to her, I used to pause, but this doesn't mean I'm playing the victim card and saying this, but surely I must have to learn something from her, that you, you, you could have been leveled to the ground and they would want you to even attack you, the Muslims, you know, very vindictive ones. They, and they hate Shias with a... in Pakistan. So don't blame the Americans and all this. And when I share a video from America, then you'll tell me, oh, you are falsy. We are Kuzarelia and all this. Uh, Petrodollar. Even the Arabs will get offended and say that uh, you are using, we are all under America's superpower pressure. So our, we have kept quiet and she's the one talking, talking against us and falsely accusing and saying that the Arabs will do this to me in the UAE uh, so you know they get they'll get uh, offended and they may have because they will use this against me